Good morning, friends. Today we are going to go over a cease and desist letter. Recently, YouTubers in the true crime community have received C and D letters in reference to a missing child case. Nothing in this presentation is to be taken as legal advice. This presentation is simply a visual guide pertaining to the First Amendment, freedom of speech within the context of law in the USA. What is a cease and desist letter? Do you need permission to discuss a true crime case or missing child in the news? A cease and desist letter is a cautionary letter sent to an alleged wrongdoer describing the alleged misconduct and demanding that the alleged misconduct be stopped. A cease and desist letter provides notice that legal action may and will be taken if the conduct in question continues. Such letters are usually written by attorneys and are often sent to stop alleged or actual infringement of intellectual property rights, such as copyrights, trademarks, and patents. A cease and desist letter may also be used to warn the wrongdoer against harassment, slander, libel, as well as contractual violations. Even though a cease and desist letter is a non-binding letter and does not have a legal effect, it is primarily sent to the wrongdoer so that it may later be used as evidence in litigation against the wrongdoer if the alleged misconduct is not stopped. Now that we know what a cease and desist letter is, what does Gordon Firemark, entertainment and media law commentator, have to say? Do you need permission to talk about the people involved, the subjects of your true crime podcast or YouTube channel or whatever you're doing? Maybe it's a documentary film or you're a journalist. Do you need permission from them to talk about them? Well, hi, I'm Gordon Firemark, the podcast lawyer, and I help creatives in the business and business people in the podcasting industry cover their legal bases and protect themselves and the things that they create. And this is Legit Podcast Pro, a short weekly show. All right. Well, today I am answering a question that came in from uh, a viewer named Anthony who asks this question. He says, hello, Mr. Freimark. My question is, if I was to do a true crime or paranormal YouTube talk channel and uh, name names from the cases that are matters of public record, like police reports or court documents, would I still need permission to use that information? Also, let's say it was a case like a Jack the Ripper, and I talked about someone else's theory, some other person's theory, and I give them credit for the theory, would I still need permission? He says he read my legal book, the podcast blog and new media producer's legal survival guide. You can find that over at podcastlawbook.com. And he says, thank you. It was very helpful. Thank you for your time. So let's talk about these questions. Do you need permission to talk about uh, people when their names appear in public records uh, of uh, court proceedings or, or whatever? The answer is really no. Uh, normally, we have a right of privacy and we have what's called a right of publicity that does give us some authority to control our the use of our name, our likeness, and those kinds of things. That's mainly tied to what we characterize as commercial uses, uses that involve a, or propose some kind of a transaction or uh, you know advertising and those kinds of things. But we, in that regard, it's a commercial purpose. So we don't necessarily have a need for permission uh, in that instance. Now, the right of publicity is a related concept. The right to control unauthorized use of names for commercial purposes in some U.S. states and a few other countries around the world. And uh, and the scope of the is a different state. So, um, but again, non-commercial use, like you talk on show about that story. No, that you're doing news, you're doing journalism, you're doing reporting, you're doing storytelling. That's expressive work. That's the word I was looking for before. Expressive work. And the protection under the First Amendment gives you the right to do that expressive work.